Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8 on your computer. This also applies to Windows 8.1. It's pretty much the same installation process. For this tutorial, you will need a computer, obviously, a Windows 8 or 8.1 CD installation disk, however you want to call it. I got this on eBay for $12. Wanted an auction. This is non-official, one made by Microsoft. It's actually a burnt CD. And these papers in here are the product key and instructions and receipt. So it's pretty dandy. And last but not least, a hard drive. I got it at Goodwill Computer Works for $6, 60 gigabyte. Uh, this is the hard drive caddy for the computer. Here's another hard drive. This is 128 gigabyte Samsung SATA. And here's another hard drive. It's, oh, there we go. Here's how much memory. 250 gigabyte. All these have Windows XP running in them, but I'm actually going to format this hard drive and install Windows 8.1 on the laptop that I have for this video. All right, so now you wanna take your SATA hard drive and place it in your computer like so. There you go. Make sure to screw it back in. Now what you wanna do is turn on your computer and put in your Windows installation CD. This is a different CD. All right, so let's place it in. Well, it's already booting to the desktop, but I'm gonna restart the computer. When you put the CD in your computer and you turn it on, you're gonna get a message saying, press any key to boot from CD. And if you don't press anything, then it's going to take you to the desktop and you're going to have to restart. All right, so I put the CD in too late and now I need to try again. On some computers, it might not boot automatically from the CD, so you're going to have to do it manually. When the manufacturer logo appears, you want to press a specific key you need to press in order to get to the BIOS menu. Um, right there, it said F12 to get to the boot menu. All right, so I press F12, and right there, you want to select to boot it from the CD drive. Press any key to boot from CD. Okay, I just press a key. Now, what it's going to do is the CD is loading the files for setup, and it's going to take a while, so just let it sit there and load the files You'll be prompted to this screen. This is for changing the language language settings, time, and the keyboard input method. Pretty much language settings. I mean, that's if you want to change it. And you want to click install now. And what it's doing is it's going to install the files. It's going to ask you to type in the product key to activate Windows. I do have the product key. The seller gave it to me not gonna give it away though all right i'm gonna type it and i'm gonna tell you what to do next after you type in the product key you're gonna get taken to this message accept the terms and click next now it's gonna tell you what type of installation you want either upgrade this will install windows and keeps the files settings and applications this is only available on a supported version of Windows. Or you can install Windows and format the hard drive. If you want to wipe out the hard drive entirely and install a fresh copy of Windows 8 or 8.1, you can do that. But please be aware, this if you format it, it's going to erase all the files. So do it at your own risk. I don't have anything on it. I mean... This laptop's actually going to be for sale. I'm selling it for $120. So I'm just going to wipe it clean. So I'm formatting it. It's done. So you want to click next or OK. 
and it's installing Windows. It's installing all the files and everything. So this might take a few minutes, so just hang in there. Just let it sit here and do its work. All right, so after the installation, your computer will restart. It's going to load again, and it's gonna get the devices ready. As you can see, it says getting ready, and just wait another few seconds or a minute. Once again, the computer restarts, and it's going to take you to another screen when it loads again. Gonna have to check up on this when it's done. I think it might take a few seconds or maybe a minute. I don't know. Might have to come back to that. After waiting, you get to another screen. Personalize. Now this is where you can personalize your, you know, color scheme and your name. I'm just gonna call this owner because I'm selling this laptop for 120, like I said. So I'm just gonna put it on it. You know, you can. I think you can change this later. So you can connect to the internet, which it's optional. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. You can make a Microsoft account or not. I mean, it's not really required. It's if you want to download apps, or you can make a local account, but you can't download apps unless you have a Microsoft account. After that, it's gonna finalize your settings. So now you need to wait another few minutes and I'm going to check back on it when it's finished. Now it is installing apps and all the necessary files and it's almost done. Just Let's start. So now it's going to take you to your dashboard and there you go. So anyway, that's how you install Windows 8 or 8.1 on your computer. It works really fine. It has all the drivers running. I can get to that. Here is the information screen. Windows 8.1 Pro. That's information about the system, uh, domain, work group, and all that stuff. Let's get the device manager. Here is device manager. As you can see, all the drivers are installed except for the Broadcom, Dell Wireless, Mobile Broadband Mini Card, and all those other devices. Well, the wireless is working, so why would I bother with those? I can install these drivers later. So, anyway. That's how you install Windows 8 or 8.1 on your computer. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.